Hey guys, it's Madame Wario, and welcome back to my 3,000 subscriber special. Me answering your questions. I'm not accepting any more questions at this time. I want to get all the first round out of the way before I accept any more, so please hold your comments about that. Um, any more questions won't be answered at this time. So, but I do thank everyone for submitting the question, for those of you who did. And, um, I'll let you know at the end of this round of videos when you can ask again, because I will eventually accept more questions, just not right now until all these are out of the way. Um, but basically, I'm going to start out with a very basic category, just Let's Play information, which is probably not exciting for some of you, but it's uh, very informative for a lot of you who have been sending me private messages and everything else. So I'm going to tell you how I make Let's Plays. Um, there are a lot of ways to do it, this is just how I do it. So I use a capture card. I use a Dazzle device capture card. And this is the Dazzle that comes in the red package. Um, it's about 50 bucks at Best Buy. I don't know, you might be able to find it for cheaper on eBay or something, but the older versions of this Dazzle are actually red. The newer versions come in just a red package. So. I know it's kind of confusing and weird. I don't know why they changed the packaging, but they did. Um, so it's the Dazzle that comes in a red package, and it's 50 bucks at Best Buy. Also, it comes with the program that you will capture your videos with. It, I use Pinnacle Studio 12, I think. And um, there are a bunch of different numbers, but mine's 12. And that will be what captures your video onto your computer. So you don't have to worry about like buying a program for it unless you really want to. But I don't really know much about that because I just used the one that came with it. So um, that's it for that. Next I'll show you. It's just a, it's just like a USB cable plugs into your computer. And then you've got the audio and video that you plug your game system into. So And then I use a splitter only for the video. I don't use one for the audio. I just listen to it on my headset or on... Um, my computer. So this goes into the video and then that goes into the TV so I can see it without lag. I don't know how much these cords are. I already had them for a DVD player that I no longer use. And the splitter is like three or four bucks. It's not much. So at this point in time you've spent $54 plus tax. If you need these cables, I don't think they're very expensive. Um, but I don't know how much they are for sure. I don't know. It's probably like 10 bucks or something. But I have no idea. But, um, yeah, the whole reason you would need this splitter is to not have to deal with lag on your capturing program. So, plus it's a very tiny screen. You kind of need a, you kind of need something to watch it on. So, that's it for the capture card. For actually putting the video together, I use Windows Movie Maker. For those of you who have a Mac, I think it's iMovie, and I don't know anything about that, so I'm, I apologize. I have no idea, honestly. I don't know much about Mac computers. I always use Windows. Um, but I use Windows Mo Movie Maker. It should be on your computer already. It's just a program that comes with your computer. And I think now they have Windows Movie Maker Live or something. I don't use that. I use the old version. Um, but that's how I think the video and audio together. For the audio, for those of you who have a laptop, you probably already have a microphone in the laptop that you could use. Some people don't like to do that because it doesn't sound as good or, you know, it's not as high tech, which I never really noticed much of a difference when people do that, so you're probably good to go unless your microphone really sucks. So, and if it does, you can just use like a simple USB mic um, you might even have it for one of your game systems, or you can purchase a mic from Best Buy or something. I got mine on eBay for like five bucks. It's Dynex brand, and it's it's held up really well. So, um, and it just like hooks on to my ear, and that's it. I, I don't use like big headsets or anything. So pretty much everything I use is like basic, really basic stuff. It's not like a million dollar high-tech stuff. So, um, that's what I use. So pretty much any mic will work. It's not like one 
that I know of is like, that's the greatest thing ever, and the rest don't work. No. It, just use whatever you want. Um, and you record your audio. Well, there are different ways, but I record my audio using Audacity, and it's free. You can download it at audacity.com. I'll include a link in this video. And then you can just record all your audio on there. It's really simple and easy, and it's free. So, um, that's a really good program, and that's what I use. Some of you might already have a recording program on your computer, but I didn't, so I downloaded that, and it works perfectly. So, uh, that's pretty much getting that question out of the way. Um, once you've done that, that's when you smush it together in Windows Movie Maker, if you have Windows. Um, so, that pretty much answers that question, I think. Um, so, it's pretty basic, and it's not that expensive. You might spend, like, $64. I just made up that number, but, um... I wonder if that's what I've spent. That might have been what I've spent, actually. It's a little weird. Um, so yeah, if you have any more questions about that, um, feel free to just comment those, and I'll probably be able to answer in the comments. Hey guys, it's Madame Wario again. Sorry about my last video where it just kind of cut off. Um, my camera decided it was time to die. So, uh, but I was done talking about that anyway, so I'm ready to move on. It's a brand new day, too. It's like four days later. Or it's actually at night. That's why the lighting looks kind of weird. Um, so I apologize for that. Um, but I'm going to get started on actually answering people's commented questions from my last video. And as I think I said before, um, they're all in categories, and I'm going to start off with the Let's Play themed categories, which is like a lot of questions about advice, and just personal like questions about my Let's Plays. So, um, yeah, let's get started with that. Um, and again, I apologize if I stroke your name really, really bad, because I don't mean to. Uh, let's Play has asked, what would your advice be on getting noticed for LPs? It's, that's like a really... It's a hard question to answer because there is no straight answer for that. Um, basically, what I would say is, because there's no way to just really just get a whole bunch of subscribers and everything right away, like, I don't know. Um, I would say, by sticking to your word, number one, um, if you say you're going to update three times a week and do update once every three weeks, maybe and you're just starting out, chances are you're not going to be that noticeable because you're not going to be putting enough videos out there, number one, and number two, people aren't going to be confident and have much faith in you updating all the time even if they like your videos, which can annoy people, so um, I would keep that in mind. Um, other than that, though, I would say don't pick a LP that's been done like a zillion times. Like. You might not want to start with Super Mario 64 or something along those lines that there are hundreds of left plays out there already of it because then yours is going to kind of get lost in the mix. So if you want to pick something that's not too like unheard of because then not very many people are going to look it up, but you don't want to pick something that's so ridiculously popular that everybody does it for their first project and yours is just somewhere thrown in the mix because that's not a good way to get noticed. Um, and also, as I said, um, stick to your word with updating and everything and update regularly. Um, don't over-update either. People don't like it either when you send like four videos out a day or five or whatever. Especially all the same project. That's overwhelming and annoying. Plus that's like way too much work for yourself. You shouldn't be doing that. Um, so that's my answer for that. SSJ4 Vegeta, I hope that's what that says, 1986 asks, how long does it take you to upload a Let's Play? Well, I'm not sure what you mean by that, if you mean, like, a video or an entire project, but I'll go ahead and answer video. Depends on your internet connection, number one. It takes me, like, mm, if I'm lucky, it'll take me 20 minutes to get one video up, and but most cases it's, like, 45 minutes, 
half an hour, 45 minutes, sometimes an hour. That's why I upload Mario Party at night, because there are like six parts, so it most often takes like five hours to up upload all of them. So, yeah. And to make an entire Let's Play, I don't know, count up the hours, I guess. I don't know if that's what you were asking or not, but whatever. Uh, the Boom 175 asks, I know you already did one, but will you do another live stream on Ustream? Yes, I will. Um, I haven't scheduled anything, and my first one was on Halloween, like I had talked about throughout the year, kind of. Um, but I haven't scheduled one yet, but I really do want to do another one soon. Um, probably close to my one year, like anniversary of YouTube or something. I'll do something then. Um, maybe even like stream just Mario Party since that's what I started out with and some other stuff. I want it to be specific. I don't want it to just be random because um, I like to plan things. So, um, things like that anyway. Um, but yes, I'll be doing another one. I can't promise you any certain day or time yet, but yes, that's in the future. Uh, Lightning Daisy asks, what made you want to make playthrough videos? And Poke Chatter asks, what made you choose to do Let's Plays? Cause I just read those both because they were both kind of the same question. Um, what made me decide to make them? Really, it's kind of a weird story. Um, I'm a huge, like, movie nerd. Like, I love movies. And not, not like any movie, but there are so many movies I love and I watch over and over and over again. Like, my favorite movies I've seen, like, hundreds of times. I'm not even kidding. And I'm the type of person who watches a movie on, like, a DVD and I'm like, well, I'll just watch that again and watch it again. So, I don't know. I'm, like, crazy about movies in that way. Um, but I was really obsessed with, and I still am, really into um, movie commentaries. I loved hearing all the, like, detailed little tricks they used and everything. Um, so, I would just watch those and be like, oh, I wish I could make a commentary of something. Well, then I, um, I was actually looking up playthrough, like, playthrough of Mario Party. I don't even know what I was doing, but I was looking up playthrough of Mario Party, and I actually did find Slim Kirby's um, Mario's Rainbow Castle, and I was like, what? I want to do this. Dang it. Um, and I was like, well, this is kind of like a movie commentary, only with video games, which is something I know really well, and I love, so that's basically where the idea came from, was the movie um, commentaries, and then when I actually saw that other people were doing it with video games, that's when I was like, I should do this too. So that's where the idea came from, and that's why I decided to make them, because uh, I have a passion for talking about things that interest me. Um, okay, Raymond Zone 17 asks, I'll be starting a Let's Play of Raymond 2 for N64. Is that a good game to begin with? Any tips, Your Highness? Well, uh, sir, I guess. Uh, thank you for that question. Um, I would say if Raymond 2 is, like, one of your favorite games and you know a lot about it, uh, then go for it, yeah. I don't think that when you're starting out, you should go for anything that you don't really know much about, or it's you like the game, but it's not like one of your favorites. I think you should start out with a game you're like really passionate about, because that's going to come through if you are, and it's also going to come through if you're you don't really you like the game, but you're not like crazy about it. So I think like the two rules are you need to know the game really well. Number one, when you're first starting out, you also need to really love the game. Like, it needs to be a game you love. Um, and I wouldn't pick anything new, either. Like, don't pick, like, the newest game out because you want to be the first one to LP it. That's not a good idea, either. There's no way you could know enough about the game. So, yeah, if you really like Raymond 2 for N64 and it's, like, one of your favorite games, then go for it, yeah. Um, so that's a good ga that's a good game to begin with in that case. Um, alright. So Spider Star U asks, you have inspired me to start recording videos. What's your opinion on that? Any suggestions, advice? Uh, well, first of all, my opinion on that is that's great, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, I'm glad I could inspire you. Uh, and my advice would pretty much be what I've been talking about this whole time. Um, yeah, just uh, like I've pretty much covered a lot of what I wanted to talk about with that. Also, I wanted to point this out. Uh, Dark Minded Sith has just put together 
pretty recently a whole bunch of videos with all kinds of Let's Play advice, all of which I agree with because I've seen all the videos and um, they're really, really good for if you're starting out. So I would highly recommend those. I'll include a link to um, that playlist in my video description. So definitely check uh, that out if you're just starting out especially because that has like that covers like all the bases so um, that's something I would recommend personally because I just agree with it so um, definitely check that out Ted V. Wynn asks who are your top five let's players oh I hate questions like this I don't like picking favorites like this oh gosh Plus, I always leave someone out, which is not good. Oh. Alright. Well, I'll, I know my top two, for sure. Um, my top two are definitely Slim Kirby and Dark Finding Sith. I love both of their Let's Plays. I, I, I love those. Oh, for the other three. Mm. I have to say... I have to say Mega Freak 400 because I love all of his stuff too. He always picks a lot of games that I like, love. Um, he has in the past too, so I like that. Um, I really like Power to Mario's too. He was actually the second Let's Player I ever found after um, Slim Kirby, so it's weird. But, well, it's not weird, it's awesome, but it, I don't know. Random, but I love his stuff too, so. And then for fifth, I don't know. Oh, I just want to say, like, all the people from Crystal Star Studios, because I love you all. And I love all their Let's Plays. And I have a really hard time picking on questions like this. Because there's so many people that are so good. So those are my choices. Um, and I'm going to get off this question, because I don't like it. Uh, SSJ Falcon Man asks, Could you do another Animal Crossing LP or subscriber special? Could I? I could, yes. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I will be doing more Animal Crossing LPs and subscriber specials in the past, as I've announced multiple times. Um, but anyway, those are all the questions involving Let's Plays, and like I said, there are a lot of advice questions. So I'm going to go ahead and end this segment now, and I'll be back answering more of your questions um, in the next video.